Good evening. On behalf of the Romanian Cultural Institute in London and the Romanian Embassy in the UK, welcome to One Belgrave Square. My name is Magda Stroe. Please let me show you to your seat. On an unusual concert night, these stairs would buzz with the excitement of 200 people eagerly awaiting another masterful interpretation. Hopefully, you have the same sense of anticipation despite being many miles away. In fact, for us as a cultural organization, this is the silver lining in an otherwise green context. We are now able to reach larger audiences and I would like to thank all the wonderful organizations who are sharing this live stream tonight. We believe the potential audience for tonight's concert is around 100,000 people. We would like as many people to enjoy the music and to reflect on the contribution of the Romanian frontline workers. We are now entering the concert hall and the first thing we want you to notice is the wall of goodwill. Presenting around 100 pictures of Romanian men and women who have worked in the first line of the response against COVID-19. In hospitals and care homes, in schools and supermarkets, on buses and in trucks up and down the country, in a multitude of other places, they have contributed immensely to the efforts of the British society. Tonight's concert is a tribute to them and to their Romanian colleagues who are doing an amazing job in these times of uncertainty. It is important that their voices are heard loud and clear, and we are very humbled to meet some of them throughout the evening. The program, proposed by violist Sasha Bota and pianist Cameron Roberts, had been scheduled to be performed at the beginning of April as part of the Romanian Cultural Institute's acclaimed George Enescu series of chamber music before it had to be cancelled. Sasha Bota was born in Timisoara in a family of musicians, playing both modern and baroque viola. His career as a chamber musician, soloist and orchestral player has taken him all around the world. He has recently relocated to London after spending five years in Sydney as a member of the Australian Chamber Orchestra. In the past few years, Sasha has been playing as guest principal with a number of orchestras, including the Aurora Orchestra, Britain Symphonia, London Mozart Players, Academy of Ancient Music, English Chamber Orchestra and Philharmonia Orchestra, as well as chamber music with the principals of LSO and St. Martin in the Fields Orchestras. Sasha is a member of the Navarra String Quartet. Australian pianist Cameron Roberts performs throughout the UK, Europe and Australia as a soloist and chamber player. Recent performances have taken him to London's Purcell Room, Royal Albert Hall, Madrid's Teatro Real and to festivals in Geneva, Rome, Valencia, Amsterdam and Colombia. Currently based in London, he is also a doctor, which makes tonight's concert even more special. Sasha and Cameron have prepared a generous program comprising works by Bach, Schumann and George Enescu with his concert stuk for viola and piano. It will surely be an unusual experience for the two musicians to play in an empty room, although that is not entirely true. In fact, around 100 people are preparing right now to join in via Zoom. They will be seen on the large screen and will most likely want to reward the musicians with applauses in what we hope will be a memorable experience for both parties. I wish you all a pleasant evening. Sasha Bota and Cameron Roberts are ready to take the stage. But firstly, some very important messages. My name is Daniela Verrey. I work in a hospital and dialysis unit at Royal Preston Hospital. I'm proud to be part of the frontline response of the pandemic and helping this country. I work with the best medical advice to help and support patients with professional care. I uphold others by trying to understand this virus better by working to create an effective remedy. I was feeling scared, angry, tired, sad, but never forget that along with all those other feelings, I am still and always I will be a nurse, never more and so then now. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, good evening. It is a great privilege for me to be able to join you again for a Giorgio Enescu concert, especially on a night when we are coming together to thank the members of the Romanian community 
who have been in the first line of the efforts to keep Britain moving during the hard times of the pandemic crisis. We have all witnessed in the past weeks gestures of profound humanity which have lightened up our mood. The symbols and perhaps the one that will come to define the fight against the pandemic is the adorning of windows up and down the country with rainbows drawn by young and old in an expression of support for key workers. A few days ago, walking on the streets around the house, I once again found myself admiring my favorite rainbow picture. I am not an art critic, but believe me that drawing is the best attempt of this kind since Paul Klee's effort in 1917. It was surely made by a primary school child, and I can say with confidence, not only because the colors are particularly bright and the lines particularly bold, but also because of a slight disarrangement. The orange and the green have been relegated by the rebellious artist to the lower end of the rainbow, which started instead with a red, yellow and blue. I am immensely proud to be the ambassador at the court of St. James, who serves the second largest national community in the UK, a group of people as diverse as you can imagine, but having in common an exemplary work ethic. It is beyond doubt that they have carried on their shoulders a disproportionately higher burden since the start of the health crisis. For so many of them are employed in health, and social care, education, child care, food production and distribution, utilities, public safety and transport. I am grateful to all the British voices which have acknowledged the contribution of the Romanian men and women during these uneasy times. In a moment when the UK and Romania are celebrating 140 years of diplomatic relations, it is important that we all recognize their service. The continuous reflection on the immense benefits Romanians bring to the British society will create the framework for even stronger dialogue between our countries. But most importantly, it will touch the hearts of so many, like seeing a rainbow in a window on your street. Thank you. Have a splendid evening. I was very pleased to learn about this special concert to recognise the significant contribution of Romanian frontline workers in the UK. It's clear to me how much the strong friendship between our two countries is embodied by the 500,000 Romanian citizens who continue to make such a huge contribution to life in their communities here in the UK. The current coronavirus pandemic is a challenge to both our countries. To the Romanian frontline workers in the UK, your hard work and your dedication is greatly appreciated. And I would like to say a heartfelt thank you to each and every one of you for your contribution to the fight against coronavirus. I feel confident that through our strong friendship, such as ours, we will beat this virus together. And I hope you enjoy the concert. Thank you. Across the country over the last few weeks, as everybody has faced the terrible threat that comes from coronavirus, people in our emergency services and our health service and other key workers have carried on providing a brilliant service to the public. Many of those people are Romanian. And here in the Met, in the police, we have tens of Romanian officers and many Romanian staff. We love having them 
we've been having more and more join us in the last few years and they are an integral part of the service that the Met provides to the people of London. I'm really grateful to all of them for everything they've done and to Romanian friends up and down the country involved in critical work. Thank you very much. Greetings from Bucharest and as you can see it's cherry season. I thought that all of you who are suffering homesickness at this time of year would at least like to see that this year we've got a bumper crop of cherries in the trees. I'm very sorry that I'm not there with you tonight. The Ambassador and Mrs Stroy and I discussed early on this year how we would be celebrating the 140th year of bilateral diplomatic relations between Romania and the UK and how we were going to be at each other's events and I'm afraid I'm here in glorious Bucharest and you're there in the UK. Um, I want to say thank you to all of you for providing this immense human chain that links the UK and Romania. You are really uh, the motor of our bilateral relationship and I know in these difficult weeks and months you've been on the front line battling for Britain, battling for your families, battling for humanity in the health service, in delivery chains, in universities, everywhere that really matters. And I want to thank you all for what you are doing in the UK today and every year. Um, I hope you make it back to Bucharest in the summer. If not, I can guarantee we will have a very good time here on your behalf uh, and good luck with the concert tonight.
My name is Petronella. Uh, I am working for NHS at uh, Royal London Hospital in Whitechapel, London as a healthcare assistant for uh, emergency operating theatres. Um, firstly, I would like to thank um, the Romanian Cultural uh, Institute in London for uh, the initiative of organizing such an uh, important event, tribute to the Romanian frontline workers in the UK. Uh, I am also delighted to learn that the event is uh, highlighting the other side of um, massive contribution of Romanian community in uh, the UK. Um, at the end of March, uh, just before the start of peak of the pandemic, I have been uh, redeployed with the majority of uh, theatre staff to intensive um, care uh, department of uh, Royal London Hospital. Uh, every one of us uh, was desperately needed to help the critical uh, care team which doubled the capacity of beds for coronavirus patients. Uh, it has been difficult times for me and for my colleagues uh, as well. Uh, at the beginning of each shift, we had to gear up with um, the PPE before entering the COVID area uh, until my first break, which means after the four or five hours without drinking water or other necessary needs uh, in order to save the PPE. Uh, I also was worried about my children and my family in case I would have brought the virus at home. Thanks God um, we have stayed safe. Um, I am so proud to be Romanian, um, playing my uh, part in the UK society. During these difficult times, the entire world uh, has been facing. Thank you. Hello, my name is Marina Vortejanu and I am working for an NGO which is called Forward South Partnership and we have been founded by Belfast City Council to, to host an helpline during this pandemic for all Romanian speakers. Uh, we respond, I respond to these calls and everyone who's in need, a Romanian speaker who's in need of uh, food packages, health packages, masks or benefits and welfare advice. Uh, we, are, we have been helping them from, from mid-April and this project is, is still open until the end of June. And during this, uh, during this project, uh, I have helped until now more than 400 people who have been called through our helpline. Uh, we are more than happy that I'm more than happy that uh, I was able to help people during this uh, this crisis uh, period, and we will be continuing to support them. Thank you very much for having this uh, concert. Um, I'm very proud to be a part of uh, the Romanian community who is working on voluntary sector, volunteer and community sector to help others in need during this pandemic. All the best.
Hello, my name is Luminita Arunkutian and I came to UK four years ago. My main job is therapeutic care worker for children with learning difficulties. My second job is healthcare assistant in a residential home for elderly people. I'm also volunteering in our Romanian community for those who need help, either homeless or people without a job. I have also helped people who contracted COVID-19 and needed help and support with uh, shopping, providing medication or even cooking. So this is what I'm doing during the pandemic. It is not easy. It's not easy at all to be in front line thinking that your life is in danger and you might get ill in any moment but i'm glad i could help at one moment my uh, family and a few of my friends uh, believed i'm naive or maybe too adventurous but then they realized this is my way to be and i could never stay away Personally, I'm taking this as uh, being God's will, uh, as being something that I have to do it. Uh, and uh, I'm always trying to find my energy to carry on and to help as much as I can. I'm doing my best in this uh, and uh, I'm grateful for everything. Really, really grateful. Hi. My name is Christian Dumitru and I'm a police officer. During the health crisis, alongside with the police duties, I have assisted the public by engaging, explaining and encouraging the public to follow the government guidelines. Hi, I'm Adelina and I work like a carer. And in this terrible time, I can say I prou I'm proud of myself because I've been there I took the risk, I got the virus, and I survived, and I'm back to hold their hands, and yes, I'm proud.
Vem da vacina Filipe. Thank you. 